Hi guys, uh, so today we're trading uh, jail stories. Um, um, I've only been to jail like once and uh, it was actually not that long ago. And it's, the reason for it is just, it's just stupid. And uh, I'm sure you had other stupid reasons why you're detained. I was detained. Other, other than like, oh, like breaking, the, breaking law. I got arrested for second smoking. I went to a friend's house and then I agreed to his weed in. It was a uh, Super Bowl. Sunday with Eagles versus the um, Patriots. I don't know what year that was, but um, apparently uh, I was driving the speed limit, and um, I was maybe I was doing a little weaving, but I was not crazy weaving. And because of that, um, I got pulled over, and I got actually crappy balance, so I failed the, the spire test. But I passed the the drug test. But they but they took me in. Try to cut the whole story short. I mean, they took me to River City, did more tests on me. I mean, I was getting a grand tour that day from San Jose, River City, then back to um, San Jose, you know, uh, going to the hospital, do the blood test. And they found a small trace of TSA. It's like the amount of TSA they found in the system was like, like smoked like three months ago or something. It was really, it's real low, really freaking low. Yeah. And I don't, and then, um, and then getting sent to the, to the San Jose, you know, what do they San Jose? Uh, prison or something the one downtown oh the the county jail county jail and then he got a lot worse treatment mm -hmm. what was your, your story well um the deal was um i was coming home uh, one day from work uh, i was working 12 hours um i had to pick up some breakfast uh, some mcdonald's i was on my way home and just about um i'd say not even a quarter mile away from where i live um i was stopped by milk spd and um, they stopped me because uh, I I guess the the tags um, on my car were still expired. And um, I told them, well, I'm working on it right now, and I was just coming home from work. I work at a hospital, and uh, and um, then they they said, okay, well, um, you're not supposed to be driving it. Like, and I'm like, well, I'm sorry, I didn't know how to get get to work. Other than that, I didn't have any money for a lift or anything. Anyway, um, so um, they checked my my background. I guess um, they said that, oh, I, I see your license was revoked and that uh, you have a warrant. And I was like, excuse me, a warrant? Um, yeah, they said for for uh, Manteca County, and they're asking me what it was for, and they said, well, I I think it was because um, my light was out. Um, because um, on that car the light was out, and uh, and I guess some cop like like uh, stopped me. I mean, the, it was a brake light. It wasn't like the or something, or? the uh, you know yeah, it was a fix a ticket. So I had a warrant, and uh, apparently because I I failed to appear, um, oh, I didn't. By the way, I didn't get any any of the mail for this or anything like that because you, usually like they would send you something in the mail, right? Be careful, you don't want to fall. Yeah. Usually they would send you like a like some kind of warning, right? Yeah. I didn't get any of that, and I gave them my current address and everything. They must have sent them to my my old address, was which was in Merced, not Milpitas. So they called it in, and I guess their superior. I heard them over the radio. They they were saying to uh, to basically take me in, and uh, non-violent crime. Non-violent crime, by the way, not a DUI, not like a hit and run on a warrant that they, they see on there, uh, I guess, like, because they want to try me just, by the way, for a fix a ticket and a, and a, and at that point, I didn't know that my, my license was revoked. Um, so what they did was, um, they took me to that jail that you were talking about and, uh, um, they processed me. They held me there for a couple, of, like an, an hour and a half in the regular holding cell, the small one. Mm -hmm. And then uh, once they processed my information, they took me to the bigger holding cell, which was like a TV and uh, about six other people in there, six other guys. Um, then a detective called, uh, talked to me. They're, they're saying it's a sign of release, but 
Um, if you're trying to get out of bail, then then just uh, just try to call someone. And I did call a few people. I called uh, my wife. I called. Um, I had her call my mom because um, I forgot my mom's phone number. Because uh, my wife Amanda, she had her number called. I think he, she also called my dad. Um, I'm not sure um, what his response was, but I know he was worried. They're all worried, by the way. And I was held in the the, big, the bigger room for until I'd say about like uh, about six hours. Um, they arrested me around nine thirty. Um, I was I was there in that. Um, holding cell for about, uh, I guess until 4.30 or 5. It wasn't dark yet. And then they said, well, first of all, uh, my mom also called and, um, well, not called, but they told, but when I called, uh, my mom told Amanda, my wife, that uh, she was going to post bail. Because I guess there was there was a way to post bail from over there in Merced to over here. It was just going to take a few hours to process. And uh, after that, um, the sheriffs came and said, "Okay, uh, we're going to take you to <laughs> to Elmwood, which is Ooh, really? Elmwood, which is basically it's it's listed as a jail, but really it's a prison. It's a it's a minimum." Minimum security prison, I, I believe. I'm sorry, like, if you want to call it jail, corrections, whatever. Like, whatever it was, it felt like a prison. There was, like, 100 people in my block. And I was divided between races and and uh, and gangs. And I was stuck in with um, other, other Hispanics, just like me. Um, in, uh, Did you join a gang when you were there? Well, I mean, the thing is, though, like, even if you're not affiliated, they'll still put you in where the gangs are. But you just have to tell them you're not with anybody. Um, I got fixing tickets. And there was a bunch of dudes, like, trustees, like, asking for my papers. I said, I don't have them. I had them in my my pocket when they took my clothes. Um, He got into in a suit, orange suits. Uh, it's a blue suit. Blue it was not. Suit. It was not orange suit. Orange suit is, uh, I think, for another kind of person that doing crime. Um, they they segregate them by blue suit, gray suit, orange suit. I think the orange suit is for lifers. Um, I'm not sure. But this is going through a guy. But this is like this, not buying crime. This is not. There's no victims or. <laughs> no, and it just it's just like baffling. How like much they put me through just because of this stupid warrant, which um, the, the county of Antigua, I'm not going to forgive you for because other counties have. Um, I I also had a couple other failure peers on similar uh, accounts. I do too. Exactly, yeah. and they never asked for a warrant. Santa Clara, San Francisco, none of them asked for a warrant. Why did you? Why? I'm asking you, why did you? You do need money that bad. I because I know like if you take it to the court, it goes into public system somehow, right? Is that how they they get people? Yeah, they they go to they have to go to the you know they, they have to go, pay these people to to try you. And but your your case is you know I I got a bunch of uh, pieces of here and went to a red light and going to the stop sign a lot worse than we did. Yeah. You know, yeah, that, that that is pretty bad. That's pretty bad, bad, bad. But um, the point is, um, they never went after me like you know they wanted you. Yeah, for... I don't get it. Like I really don't get it. It was a twelve-hour ordeal. Like by the time I got out of there, it was already night. I ate some shit, shitty um, uh, like um, prison food. It's prison food. It's it was like two hot dogs, a bun, some cheese sauce. And in a package, like one of those uh, lunch lunch trays, they they have like uh, like uh, in some schools, you know, like it was it was terrible. I mean, I was hungry. I, I ate whatever they gave me. And, uh, a sandwich in, in water. Um. Yeah, 
down, I was I was just like um, I was just confused about the whole deal. Like I don't get it. Like well, I was treated like a class A criminal. Like there was certainly other things I could have done that would have like warranted a a rest like that, where I was taken to jail and then taken to prison. And as a tax paying citizen, I shouldn't be treated like that. Especially not by crime and you know. yeah, exactly. Those things are with a fix ticket. And I've had several fix the tickets, and they none of nobody's ever did this. So why why you? Of all people, even Merced County, the county that I li lived in for all my pretty much all my life, never did that. Also, it's just that's nice. Like, it's just it's a five dollar. Uh, why did I go to Auto Zone get a five dollar? <laughs> what do you mean? You know, the delay, right? The delay was out. Yeah, but I have the I had the replacement. Yeah, but I'm just but saying I didn't that, know that it was out until they, they yeah, told me. I'm just saying that it, all of us is like a five dollar, you know, thing to buy your car, you know. Exactly. And they made it sound like it was like some. They could have just told me like, like, okay, your your, your brake lights out. Um, What's that? You know, just warnings? just try to get give you get you going. You know, just try to just get you going. It's not like the fucking whole like. Backlight was out, and I was like, they were saying, okay, this is a big problem. You need to fix it right now. But I got pulled over for that before, but it was never a ticket. I, I got a warning. Because they know it, it takes like, you know, five seconds to replace they, it. They never give me any tickets, like warnings. I've never gotten a warning for, for any of that. Mm -hmm. I've always gotten a ticket. It's just stupid. So my, 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 my experience was I was in a small jail, uh, maybe a hamburger. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm they gave you a choice of a ham or a peanut. Butter. Was it jail or was were you myself? No, it was not. It was like it was what, like, what, at first with ten RP it was uh, it was terrible Sunday, so they put a bunch of lot of drunks that day. Oh drunk like a drunk tank. It was a drunk tank. And I wasn't drunk or stoned that pissed me off. I didn't have anything to drink. I thought I had one beer, but uh, for some reason I had a good feeling not to. Also my gut feeling was to uh, stop the sound lay and sleep. But I I it and went to Mountain View and I got pulled over going to Mountain View. So your gut feeling tells you something. It's telling you something. <laughs> it's telling you something right. But um, for me, it was like five hour drink tank. And then um, I, was, I was more concerned in my car getting told. That would cost like $200 to get my car told. Because I parked at some car gas station. Because the gas station guys don't know who your car is. Yeah. And um, so I lucky it didn't get told. I was lucky. That cost me like $250. And I, got, I called a lawyer, the no cop lawyer. He wanted a five dollar uh, deposit plus they went eight hundred dollars a month for the whole thing. What do you mean, like, uh, like eight hundred dollars a month? Uh, the pay for the lawyer, the lawyer, pay for the lawyer. Why would they want eight hundred dollars a month for you? Because I pay for the lawyer. Tell me what, like, what, like, how much was the charge versus how much you're you're going to pay know, the lawyer? I, I forgot the charge, but it was the DUI was, you know, I didn't want to lose my license. I had a good case against them, and I lived in my car, so I didn't want to lose my license. Yeah, and I know I because I, I, I know the CHP who they have cameras they can watch the uh, the video of me driving. That was in my lane. You know, I was not you know going off the lane. I was in my lane, and, and even the lawyer told me you know there's no evidence that you're doing reckless driving or you know what I mean. It, and um, the weird thing about it when you get the we got rushed with DOI, you get like you know. Tons of mail from other attorneys <laughs> and stuff like that, but the whole thing was BS. And but all the charges was dropped like less than a week. Yeah, but I still got paid a lawyer thing because I had to take things off my record. Oh, yeah. That pissed me off. I was happy I could get my teeth fixed. I was I, I was I was driving. I got enough money. I get my teeth fixed. I, you know, I mean everything's going good this year. And then when I started thinking positive, and, you know, cops just red lights and then they can do it. And then I, uh, and then six months later, I got pulled over again for, uh, I guess I was dancing in my car. I was listening to the Love Shack from BC2. Was, I guess I was doing a little, you know, and I got pulled over that. And the whole entire time, my marriage told you I was not playing with the cop. I really looked at the cop and he complained about, why well, you like this? I'm like, like what? You know? Mm -hmm. You know, he just gave me the, the eye thing. They took me to get my glasses off and leave the eye thing. I first, you know, I was Did not. Did they give you a resolution? No, because it's obvious. Are they smoke. supposed to? Yeah, I like guess. If, if uh, they suspect you're drunk. Yeah, but I guess I passed the eye test. 
eye test. Yeah, the you know the oh, no test. problem. But um, they didn't smell any alcohol in my breath, so they know it's bullshit. Yeah, I think I've had that happen one time. Uh, like I was pulled over. Um, um, this is also again tail lights. Um, but this was actually a bigger problem, so I can understand why they pulled me over. But uh, it was here in San Jose, and uh, but they but mm -hmm. they. But they said the tail lights were out. But they also suspected I was drunk, so they gave me a breathalyzer and that 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 thing. Yeah. That's why I asked, like, why didn't they give you a breathalyzer? Well, um, the the second, the first time they did. The second oh, yeah. time they, they just gave me a quick, you know, I yeah, the eye test. Second time in Oakland. But um, what I did was a lot worse. You know, the charges were a lot worse than yours. Yeah, and um, and I got I and I got away really quickly. You know, they could deal. They could have just like. Like I don't know, taking the car, make me walk home. I yeah. kind of would've been fine with that. I would have got the that car, car. That car, you should got rid of that car years ago. Well, I mean, I, I only had that car for a little while, and it it already pitch. started having problems. That was a money pit. Yeah, so it wasn't worth it. But they could take your car. It was. Just... They could have just took the car, and um, I would have been carless, but I would have still been free. And you're like, how far from home? Not even a quarter mile. They could have like read the room and said that they're just being assholes. They just, they just they just want to be jerks, and I don't know if they get something from from arrests, but um, they do. They go find something. No, what did they get for arrests? Like, did they get like a a photo bonus or something like that? They don't, but legally they can't. But but it looks like they're good. They must have some kind of quota. My my opinion. That's illegal, but. I, I think he was just pressured by his supervisor to do that because um, I think, I think a, they would have somebody think, else would have let him go. You're, you're like a stag male and you're yeah. in a certain age and well, it was. Yeah, and I was tired, so it looked like I was high. But they, they could like prove that you weren't. No, but all that twelve hours for 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 you know never never happened with me because once again I went to a stop sign, red lights. I filled up here, both of them. Yeah. Um, my DUI thing could have, was our worst charge. Mm. It was like seven years on your record. Yeah, it, it's hard to clear up. Hard to clear up, but and nowadays, you know, half the time they don't even take you to prison for that. In the, uh, a few years ago, like if it was like twenty years ago, you would have went to jail for a DUI. Yeah, like like uh, corrections, because that's what my uncle did. Uh, he served time in for for a DUI, and he served three years. But he mm. went three times, so that's like nine years, non consecutively. <laughs> so that's pretty much yeah. Uh, we have we have an actual sort of BS, non buying crime. You know, you know, and I, I you know buying records or anything like that. No. And, and by the way, um, I'm not gonna be able to see like, um, a court date till next year. Um, I just I went there like uh, to Manteca, and they said that um, oh, I'm just I'm trying to. Contact the DA about this so they could just drop it and we just pay the fine or whatever it is or something like that or do a community service instead of wasting your time their time exactly. how much how much they're they're paying for this exactly for a fix it you know not appearing or not fix it you know yeah plus uh, like ball. my 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 bail was set at ten thousand why for for oh my god it was ten thousand for my bail I I I and looked I, it up and I could and I, when I got arrested with you I just walked out I was for five hours. <laughs> It's just, they're, they're, they're just, just, just incredible their mentality is. And it was just a stupid ordeal. And, How much um, are paying a lawyer, the DA lawyer? I mean, it's just. Well, well that's what we're going to say about how stupid, you know, cases. That's why I'm not going to drive again for a while until I, I well, get you, most of this cleared up. You should clear it out, but it's just, it's just totally BS. Um, we'll talk about more about stupid cops or something. All right. Bye. Please subscribe, right. subscribe, buy t shirts. And Love Max. I'll see you, man.